TG Talk Show Radio, TG The Gym, brings to you the very best interviews with experts, physicians, athletes, trainers, and coaches, sharing advice, tips, and information in medicine, health, fitness, anti-aging, nutrition, sports science, and motivation, including leaders in business and marketing for personal trainers, athletes, and gym owners. I'm your host, Rob Fletcher, author of America's Next Great Trainer, Transform Your Life. Welcome to TG Talk Show Radio, training, education, motivation. We would like to welcome the Director of Media Development for Muscle and Fitness, Muscle and Fitness Hers, Flex, and the Olympia Weekend, the one and only Frank Seppi, author of the best-selling book, The Truth, creator and host of one of the top fitness infomercials, nationally renowned fitness celebrity and master trainer who is a leader and innovator in the fitness industry, appearing weekly on the top fitness social media platforms in the world, giving training, motivation, and nutritional advice. He's one of the most photographed fitness models in the industry, appearing in hundreds of magazine covers. With that said, my good friend, Frank Seppi. That's some intro, Rob. That's a big one. <laughs> That's well, a mouthful. <laughs> well, Frank, well, Frank I, ha- I was watching your Instagram. I love you mixing up the boxing. You got the gloves going on. And then uh, we'll talk about, I guess you, you had a little bicep tear there, but you're still hitting it hard. But uh, I like that. Uh, I like that. It was almost, I was going to call out, call you out in that one when I heard it. Frank, the show horse, not the workhorse. <laughs> oh, <Seppi. sure. laughs> but so that's funny, you're, uh, you're, you know, you're built like that, man. You're, you're solid. It's incredible. So the muscle and fitness, um, you know, we've been doing segments with uh, three tar- three time world kickboxing champion Derek Pans and, and uh, over at Bed Francis Powerhouse Gym in New York. And uh, Derek is just phenomenally funny and a great teacher. But um, yeah, we have a good time. We were hitting a you know, going over some basics and stuff like that, but it's it's more of a uh, of a good time than is a training session. <laughs> well, that's the one good, great thing, you know. And for those of you that are tuning in, uh, definitely check out Frank's Instagram. It's uh, at yeah. Frank Seppi, S E P E. Uh, just great information there. Of course, we'll mention the other platforms too that he's involved with. But just mm-hmm. information and great content. But uh, that's what I was checking out too. I, I love the obviously kickboxing is awesome and uh, implementing yep. that and the uh, yeah. And the, the instructor there is awesome. And, and like you said, you bring humor into it, which is awesome, too. You, you know, I think you probably feel the same way, is that there are a lot of workout snobs out there who say, well, why do you why do you lift weights? Why don't you just do yoga? Why don't you just run? Or why don't you – no, no, martial arts is the way to go. I think if you want to be balanced and, you know, a balanced person, you need to do a little bit of everything. So – I started hot yoga probably 15 years ago. Uh, obviously, I lift weights. I do a lot of cardio. I run, jog. I do martial arts. You know, I think it's it, you know that you get something out of every form of fitness. You know, you get the great stretching and flexibility from yoga. Obviously, the lean muscle mass and such from from weightlifting. And you know, obviously, if you have to kick some ass someday, you know, you have to learn how to fight. <laughs> you got to so. keep that in the back pocket. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so. Just in case. Just in case you got it. You know, when someone says, hey, you think those gym muscles will scare me? Like, no, how about my eight years of <laughs> Well, now, now that I got the gray hair going on, it's going, hey, hey okay, I think you're one and done. I said, well, you could roll the dice with that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's funny, uh, isn't it? You know, you get the gray hair and people come up to you and be like, oh, you, you look good for your age. And the guy is like 25 or 30, and, and he's not nearly in shape, the shape that you are. And you're like, for my age? <laughs> that, that's a classic line, too, right? For, you for look great age? for your age, yeah. I think it's, you know, people think like once you hit a certain age, you should be wearing black socks, sandals, and have a fig tree in the backyard. You know, it's like, <laughs> it, it's, it's so funny, Rob. Like, I would go to my son's, uh, you know, martial arts or football, and uh, I went into, actually, went into. What, what kind of martial arts does your son do? My son was doing Tiger Shulman, so he was doing a uh, a bunch of everything. Then he was doing Muay Thai, kickboxing at Rebel. Uh, uh, so mixing it up, little, that's awesome. Yeah, and I was sitting there, and I, I sat next to these two guys probably around my age, and they're like, oh, you, you intimidate us. I'm like, why? I'm the nicest guy. And they're like, <laughs> well, you know. I'm like, you can go to the gym too, you know? <laughs> it's not there's not a private you know private club with a private key there's, there's probably about you know 75 gyms per five miles now you know in new york so it's well, just crazy. Yes, trying to get the people you know what there's so much i want to talk to you about i can have about you know 20 shows with you obviously sure. but but um 
you know, we're obviously this obesity thing is out of control and everything else. Your the, the health of our country, you mm-hmm. know, not just physically, obviously, you know, you had COVID and now it's carrying over into serious mental health problems, but trying to get people just to make that initial uh, move to get themselves in that direction of working out. So I guess one yeah. of the first things, you know, just addressing, you know, if sure. you're not training right now, if you're not keeping yourself fit, because, you know, we all know it's just, you know, it affects everything in your life. You know, if you don't take care yeah. of you, nothing else is going to be right. So you're right, Rob. You yes. Yeah, so what? what uh, no, I definitely encourage again your website. We'll talk about it more, but check out Frank's sure. website because he's he's got this whole uh, online training system down. He's so dialed in, and you just heard what he said too. It's not just about working out; it's about maintaining a balanced lifestyle. You know, incorporating mm-hmm. these different things to feel good. But Frank, what would uh, what would you say, especially with all your experience? You know, when you're talking to people like some p- person, just like the guy that walks up, you know, hey, you're intimidating. They're looking to get there, but they just can't mentally get themselves to that place of getting to the gym or, or getting themselves motivated to, to do some exercise. Yeah, you know what? Um, when I created this infomercial, uh, you know, we did top 40 infomercials in the world. It was uh, Metrics 180, it was called. It was only 100 channels. I remember a week. that. When, when we yeah. created it, I said, listen, you can have the best routine in the world, a best trainer in the world. But if you're not properly motivated to execute, it's worth garbage. So it's very hard for somebody to, like, yeah, that, you know, the DVDs that we used to say, the longest journey is from the couch to in front of the TV, to get off the couch in front of the TV to actually, mm. you know, to get motivated to do it. There's so many different motivating tactics that someone can use. Um, you know, but ultimately if they don't like, you know, like I would say like divorce people, you know, I'll show her, I'll show him, you know, like right. I'm going to get in the best shape. And, and, um, and they do, but Frank, seriously, that it's yeah. amazing what, that, what ignites the fire or, or the yeah. flame. Some of those it, people it, do, they make a total transition, uh, uh, but some of them, others let themselves crumble. You're right. And it's like, you got to find that certain motivation and you got to do it before a tragic occurrence happens. Like, you know, a health issue, like mm. a heart attack or or something like that, you know, a heart attack or, you know, obesity, you get, a, you, 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 ha, you get it too far. It goes too far, you know what I mean? And then you're forced to do something. I always tell people, like, if they want to make a change, to pretty much sit down and, uh, you know, in my book I had a test for them. I had a, a little test of, like, ten questions and, you know, take this, take this motivation test. Why do you want to get in shape? How do you want to get in shape? You know, in what time frame, what goals do you have? Mm. I think the first thing that I would do if I was like, you know, wanted to get back to the gym is that what do you want to accomplish? And then write it down be, so that it doesn't become, it's not a dream. It becomes verifiable. It becomes a goal. And then you have something to work. You put a plan towards that goal. Because you're like, most people are lost in the gym. They're like, oh, you know what? I just want to get in shape. Well, what are you doing for? I don't want to lose like eight pounds. And, uh, you know, right, whatever. exactly. Like, well, yeah. How do you do it? You got to have a verifiable goal to, you know, and a plan that works to, to make that, uh, to achieve that goal. And you have to be realistic with it as well. You know, Rob, it's like, I want to lose 45 pounds or I'm going to be Mr. Olympia in two months. It's not going to happen. You know, so I tell people to motivate, you got to find something that's going to ignite that spark, whether it's like you just said, a divorce, whether it's children, people who have children. Uh, you know, they want to spend as much time with them as possible. So I always say, do you want to play with your children? Do you want to be around and walk your daughter down the aisle? Uh, That's a big motivator right there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I always like positive visualization too. Like, you know, I got to see it. So I would clip a picture out, someone you want to look like hanging on the refrigerator, you know, within real life, like, look, uh, you know, we're not going to be Brad Pitt or, you know, yeah, <laughs> but it's so true. The the things, that you, the two the two real important things that you just said is, whatever it is in life, you know, you have to set a goal, yeah. you have to make a plan. But I love the fact one, write it down, mm-hmm. verifiable. Then two, I love visualization. So you know, whatever it is, uh, re- you're referring to, yeah. take take a picture of someone that's you want to sort of aspire to be like or a lifestyle or. But have it there in front of you and constantly, consistently reminding yourself, this is where I want to be. But that plan, that's where I think people fail, especially yeah. when January comes around. They just go into the gym, and like you just said, they're, a lot of them are just, they, they're, they don't have a goal. They don't, they're just there. No, they're just like, hey, I'm going to do this. And I, I used to say that um, a simple equation is results equal motivation. So, 
you know, the ultimate penicillin <laughs> to the anti-motivation virus is results. So if you stick with a program long enough, you'll get excited by the changes you see and, and, and you know, and how you feel. So I don't know. There's something really motivating about uh, having a healthier, happier life, you know, loaded with increased self-esteem. I, you know, I would tell, you know, p- teenagers who are, um, you know, trying to get in shape and have very low self-esteem. Do you work with a lot no- of teens? Yeah, um, I did. Like, my son's a teen now, so I see it. So I, like, give kids advice and stuff. So, you know, for football and for other things. So I'm like, there's no pill that a doctor can give you that's going to increase your self-esteem, like doing, uh, having a body change and feeling good about yourself. So get into the gym four times a week or whatever it may be and make the change. You know what I mean? I can't give you a pill that's going to, you know, they're so, so fast to prescribe pills and, you know, to, oh, we're going to get him in a good mood. He's depressed. Like, you know, you know, good physical health translates into good mental health as well. So, I mean, you know, obviously it's a case-by-case ba- uh, basis, but I really think that, you know, um, training as a teen and learning the steps that will, you know, that you'll have for the rest of your life goes a, ho- a long way. Like I've, te- you know, taught many, many teens about nutrition and, and the proper way to train instead of going there Monday night and they're doing 75 sets of bench press. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, dude, you got to do legs too. <laughs> <laughs> they're all doing that bench press party Monday night, you know? So there'll be 75 sets of bench, but come Wednesday when they got to do legs, it's like three sets and out the door. What happened you know? to leg day? <laughs> uh, well, uh, what you said, too, is it's so important. And I will also encourage you know people, and I know it's an investment, mm-hmm. but I really think, you know, not just hiring a trainer, but doing a little research on who, uh, and then also – you know, above knowledge and passion, you know, you have to definitely be dialed into your trainer. They have to have that personality. Uh, You have to, you know, that there has to be a synergy there for sure, you know. So find the right trainer and then at least uh, question them. And and I believe that they can do all sorts of things to get you on the right track. But I think everyone, especially now, especially, you know, can't even say post-COVID because, you know, whatever it is, Mm. it is. But, uh, But regardless... This first step one, I think if you knocked everything down, you know, let's just step one is reach out to that trainer, make the call, and then simple things, write it down, set the goal. What do I, where, where do I want to be in 30 days, 60 days, yep. 90 days, and then start making that plan. And if you just start writing that stuff down and then making that call, that's action steps. And then, you know, uh, as you said yeah. earlier, but there's no greater, I think, stories than those that come from trainers. Like I can't even imagine the people's mm. lives that you've impacted worldwide so for the you amount know, of time, Frank, that you've been in this business and the amount of time that you've trained. And now you have that outreach. Uh, and like I said, your website's awesome. The online program that you set up is awesome. Uh, I can't imagine that, um, how that must make you feel. Honestly, there's nothing, nothing feels better than helping someone. Yeah. I mean, once you, you put a program together, you know, and you're like, Oh, you know, I hope, I hope that people embrace it and stuff. But when we did the, uh, Metrics 180 program, um, it was just crazy. We over 90 days we had, you know, we legally had to have people do the program, do the nutritional program, the training program, the cardio, everything, and uh, they got legitimate. We we measured them, we weighed them, uh, body fat tests, everything every 30 days, and the results were phenomenal. And to this day, I mean, the program came out in 2011. Uh, I, just, still, people are contacting me. He changed my life, or he gave me the principles to uh to use for the rest of my life to stay in shape same thing with the truth book too when i wrote that like it you know you don't realize when you're writing it that it's going to impact people's lives but it's great but it's it's a phenomenal feeling and you know you're right on the money when people set goals stop looking so far far in in the future you know if you're three three hundred pounds and you know you want your goal is 180 Really, you know, don't say in 30 days, 60 days. You're mm. putting too much pressure on yourself. Right. And when you put too much pressure yeah. on yourself, you set yourself up for failure. Small so gradual changes. You were right. 30 day goals, Rob. Like, and, you know, and then you have the obviously, you know, six month or whatever. And you can't really be so hard on yourself. You know, and that's people are very, very hard uh, on themselves, as I see. And like these trainers that they do hire, oh my God. I mean, you go to some of these franchise gyms and stuff. Shock and, it's, shock it's, and awe. I, I can't even believe it. Can't believe it. They're Can't believe phones. what I see. Yeah, they're on their phones and they hardly talk. Someone told me the other day I was at a gym and I don't know if this is true, but they were like, "Yeah, the trainer program here is an open book test." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, uh, 
I mean, that's what we're that's what we're dealing with. So funny yeah. story, real quick. So I'm in the gym uh, here. I won't I won't call him out, but a trainer. Yeah. St- what he, what you just said on the cell phone. So I'm uh, I'm doing leg curls. She's doing leg extensions. So the trainer's dialed into his phone. Now it could be where he's maybe tracking something. Don't know, but I'm assuming he was texting because she's like dying. He's not recognizing her that she's dying. Like her legs are fried, and right. she she asked the question. She goes, "What rep was I on?" And he looked up, and I just looked over. I said, 12. And so, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. like, so I said, pay attention, brother. Pay attention. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. You know, I, I mean, you know, some of them are so grossly out of shape. It's like if I'm, if I'm, you know, I want somebody, if I hire a trainer, I want them to live the lifestyle. I want them to inspire me. Like if I was going to be a baseball player, I'd, like, I'd want Derek Jeter to, <laughs> to train me. Now, you know let's I mean? talk to Jeter. And the Jeter, he he was the man. Yeah, yeah, right. Like I'm not going to some guy who like some of these trainers are grossly out of shape. And you know, I had one guy who was in the gym. I was listening, like you, you know, you can't help but listen because they're all so loud. But there, he was like, "How um, many eye rolls do we have?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Yeah, can you believe it? Even I have a cheat meal." And I was like. The guy's like 50 pounds overweight. I'm like, <laughs> I would believe if you didn't. <laughs> I wouldn't believe if you didn't have a team meal. So I'm just like, you know, like you're right. You have to, you know, just be. And also, too, it goes the other way. If someone shredded and they look phenomenal, doesn't mean they're a good trainer. 100%. Great point, Frank. And you it's know? the same thing with anything, you know, instructors. You could be a world champion at something, doesn't make you a great instructor. They're like, just eat chicken. That's it. Just chicken and lettuce. That's it. That's no, all no, you got. Just chicken. You're like, what? <laughs> Are you talking? And do two hours of cardio. And do, you're like, you know, you got to really, really. I did the uh, segment yesterday with Arash Rabah, who's an IFBB pro. And he's, we, we were talking about, you know, coaching. And he's like, interview your coach up and down. You know, ask 100%. Him questions. 100%. Just- yeah, they're not interviewing you. you inter- you're interviewing them. And then one of the first things, you know, is that appearance? You know, what's what's their yeah. lifestyle? So you're going to convince me that I'm going to be in great shape, and then you, just from what I see, yeah. it's not like you're taking good care of you. But there's a, like we just we mentioned, there's it's great like, trainers yeah. out there. It's just yeah. make a good decision, make a good choice, and it's not just knowledge. It's a combination of knowledge, passion, and will they connect with you? You know, many you're the right. personality differences. Yeah. You know, some people like real hardcore in your face boot camp style. And sometimes that turns a lot of other people off where now you just took a client and now they're gone. So that's, you have to know, you know, what you're looking for as well. You know, the, the biggest compliment I ever got was from a, um, he was a, a big, big wig at a, you know, billionaire at one of these big giant you know, companies. And he was like, you know, I, and he's like, uh, yeah, you know, I, I don't need to do this. And I'm like, yeah, you do. He's like, but, but yeah, no, 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 but I, yeah, you, know, you do. I, I don't do this. And he's like, why? And I'm like, do you have a different body than everybody else? I'm like, he's like, no. I'm like, so you need to do it. He's like, you know why I like you? I'm like, why? He goes, because you tell like it is, whether a billionaire or just a guy off the street. I'm like, yeah, why not? Everybody deserves to get, you know, to be treated nice and to get the same advice just because a celebrity or mm. a CEO doesn't mean I'm going to give them something extra special. You know what I mean? Right. I try to help everybody equally, you know, and that's where. You know, there's a lot of celebrity trainers out there, too, who are like, you know, uh, if you're going to help this person and be available 24-7 and do this for that, for them, then why not do it for everybody? Yeah, just it's, and, and like I said, the trainers can make a significant difference in your life. We're with Frank Seppi. You're tuned in to TG Talk Show Radio. We'll be right back. The Great Gorge Golf Course in Vernon offers remarkable elevation changes on the lake course between the first tee and the ninth green. The rail course offers some of the most scenic views anywhere in the county. This course continues to make excellent use of the rolling terrain on which it sits. The entire course offers beautiful panoramic views of Vernon Valley. Make your way to the quarry, which is the most skillful shot making of the three nines. Visit GreatGorgeGolfCourse.com. Introducing High Society, your source for cannabis industry news, restorative justice initiatives, community impact, dispensary openings, and cultivation tips. Brought to you by the editors of Chronogram. Get updates every week with our High Society newsletter. It's high time to talk about marijuana legalization in New York. Welcome to High Society. You're in good company. 
Sign up now at chronogram.com slash high society. Hi, this is John Tesh. Tune in for great music and intelligence for your life on weekdays at 1 p.m. as we assemble the tips, the facts, and the news you need to be happier, healthier, more lovable, and more fun to be around. Radio worth listening to. We put the intelligence out there. You decide what to do with it. WTBQ. Hello, welcome back to TG Talk Show Radio. We're with Frank Seppi. So, Frank, uh, we were talking about trainers. I just want to follow up with that a little bit. So, again, sure. you know, trainers, there's great ones. And like any business or anything else, there's great ones and there's terrible ones. So you have, to, you have to make your decision, you know, interview a few, look into their background, look at their history, their experience, uh, and then their, their personality connection. But also, uh, I just want to talk a little bit about you know, you have so much knowledge in this world of, of personal training, mm-hmm. and it's so sad when I see really passionate, knowledgeable trainers fail because they're trying so hard. They have to surrender what they love to do. They have to give right. up their passion. They have to either work a second job or they have to completely surrender what they've went to school, college, years and years of, you know, what they love to do and surrender it. So. I just want to talk a little bit about this. I definitely want to talk further at another point uh, because I, there's a great value in trainers in our in our country, in our society. And yeah. the more that we keep them above board and we help them, make them thrive, their businesses, what advice, Frank, could you give the trainers? You know, I know online coaching is another stream of revenue. For me, it's sure. about creating these multi-streams of revenue without having to, you know, work uh, – 20 Mm -hmm. hours out of a 24-hour work uh, day. Yeah, they create these uh, online fitness challenges where they can train multiple people at one time. You know, some of the really successful trainers will put together like a group of 100 people, maybe $100 a pop, and for for four weeks they'll train them. They'll do group sessions online, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. They'll set up uh, Zoom calls, and this way they can train multiple people at once. But the climate has, has changed drastically mm. in the last 10 years with TikTok and, and all the social media platforms. Anybody with abs is considered a, you know, an expert now. So, you know, people are following influencers more than they're following credibility. So in order, to, you, you, you got to do something to stand out from everybody else, too. But the biggest thing is you got to net. We have to network and you have to be good at your craft. One of the greatest things you can do on social media is show before and after transformations of people and get, like, you know, um, validation. Those testimonials. That, train with them. Yeah. Oh, testimonials since the days of Bill Phillips. Yep. With, uh, you know, Body for Life. That was the eye-grabbing thing, the band that went around the book. People yep. want to see proof in the pudding. You can tell me all day you're a great trainer, but show me what you did. Show me. And, like, I could see a guy with abs giving advice. But there's so much misconception and, and um, uh, just horrible information out there from, you know, bro science and all this other stuff out there. So it's kind of like if you're a trainer and you're starting in a commercial gym, one of the biggest mistakes I see with these trainers is that they're very arrogant and they're very and they're not very gregarious and not outgoing and they don't talk to anybody. They don't know how to network, whether it's a it's a texting thing or, it's a, you know, it's a millennial thing. I don't know, but they don't. Talk that, that connection, right. I, and I agree with you. And, and I see it in gyms also. Um, you know, that's one of the things. Uh, just shout out to, to the gym I work with. Yeah. The, the TG, they're so dialed in on that connection. And then I mm-hmm. go into other gyms again, and I won't call them out. There's not a <laughs> word. I watch, and it's not just me. I watch, I'll watch because I'm, I'm a people watcher, especially in that world. Oh, me too. And yeah. Frank, I will see six. 10, 10 people walk in, and they're dialed into the cell phone. There's no interaction. There's no connection. There's no hi. There's no goodbye. There's no how are you today. And that is, that's the reason why when you talk about retention and attrition, especially mm-hmm. when it comes to gym ownership, dialing in on forming that relationship. It's not just to sign the contract one and done. It's the same thing with personal no. trainer. It's not just here, give me uh, 20 prepaid sessions. But like you said earlier, you know, the results. You know, yeah. I see some trainers who I've, seen with a client for not just months, some for a couple of years, and it's sad because there's no change. No, they do the same. You know, having to, everyone gets a cookie-cutter routine. 
but you know, and they don't personalize the program. They don't personalize their approach too. Some people are very timid. They need to be, you know, their hand needs to be held through it. And some people are so psyched that they want to do too much too fast. I, I, I'll tell you a quick story. <laughs> I was training this guy in the city, and he was part of that boiler room uh, thing with the stock. Like, you know, the they had the pump and dump stock on oh, yeah. Wall Street. Yep. So he's bench pressing. And he's like, bro, I could do 225. And I said, no, you can't. He's like, yeah, I can. I, You know, I sold. I made millions and this and that. And I did this and this. I could easily do this 225. I just saw the guy do it. I'm like, you want to do the 225, take the response. I'm not taking – I take zero responsibility. I'm stepping back. And he's like, yeah, he calls some guy over to squat, uh, spot him. Tech tear. Oh. Right on the way to the hospital. Ambulance came to oh. the hospital. I said, I told you so. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's just. Don't need these, that. No. It's no. just, that's what I'm saying. It's like, you have to know how to talk to people. You have to know how to adapt your personality to them. You have to realize, and this is very, very hard for people, is that it's not about you. It's about them. So, yeah, uh, you know, I, too many people, they don't want to hear you. If, I'm, if I was training you, Rob, and I'm like, hey, Rob, well, we're going to, you know, do chest and bicep. And you're like, oh, push, pull, workout. And you're like, all right, cool. And I'm like, Rob, man, you know, I have a problem paying my rent. And, you know, I just, you know, and my right. girlfriend doing this. You don't want to hear that. No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, seriously. But how right. often does that happen? But with that said, mm-hmm. that, um, and again, I'll, I'll refer to, to gym owners, uh, big gyms, small gyms, but the tra- trainers also. So, I think that uh, what we're talking about is making that connection, but yeah. what we spoke about too is seeing the people who have no change. And let me ask you this. So now mm-hmm. you're with somebody, and the key words you said before is, is you have to sometimes dial in a little bit more to certain people. Like some yeah. will follow the guidelines because it really hurts when you're instructing someone what to do on the outside because what happens on the inside of the gym is important, but it's mm-hmm. also, you know, there's a plan. So, okay, this is what you have to do outside when we're not together. This is what I expect you to do if you want to hit your mark. But unfortunately, they don't mix the two, especially when it comes to healthy eating and proper nutrition. They just, they don't, they just think show up at the gym and then that's okay. That's good enough. But if they want real change, they have to mix it up. But what would you do with that person that maybe is, uh, you can tell, okay, we're hitting the gym, they're getting results, but you know, because you're in that world that you should be getting Mm -hmm. a little bit of a, a better result from the way you're guiding them. Would you start questioning them on what are you doing outside of the gym? Are you following the eating? What What is your protocol for that? So if someone's not like, you know, if someone you know is going to kind of go left. <laughs> at any, yeah, at any point, in some way left. <laughs> yeah, well, you, have, you have to, you have to kind of like, you got to start, you got to text them and you got to motivate them. And we have to have some sort of accountability. So what I would do is that you'd have a, a weekly or every four day for certain people, uh, like, you know, check, have them look in the mirror, show them the before. So when you have a client, you take pictures of them before. And then obviously, you know, as they're progressing, you take more pictures and you kind of show them where they started, you know, and like it gets them motivated and you start texting, you start communicating with them, you support them, you know, like you have that one definite time every week, that Monday, because the weekend sometimes could, you know, be a, a, a horrible, oh, yeah. horrible. Especially now during summer. Situation. Yeah. So knowing that they're being held accountable is, you know, important because if not, mm, you know, what are they going to do? One of the things with me is hot yoga. You got to be basically oh, so in Frank, tiny shorts. Do you, lo- you, do you like the hot yoga? Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm talking about, accountability. I got to look at myself in the mirror with, like, just a tiny pair of shorts on so you, you know <laughs> in front of everybody. So that's what I'm saying. I t- try to a hundred percent support people communication on, uh, you know, a daily basis, um, have them do things on the weekends or have them do things when you're not in the gym. Like, Hey, if I'm not with you, make sure that you do some sort of physical activity. For do you keep minutes. in touch do between test. sessions at times? Do what? I'm sorry. Do what? you keep in touch with them between sessions? Like say oh, you, you have to, yeah, you have to. Exactly. You have to. Because yeah. if they're out of the gym in 45 minutes and you're like, you text them, you're like, hey, you know what? It's really nice out. You should go for a walk or you should do this or, hey, did you do this? You should give How them cool is that? How cool yeah. is that? You got to give them a protocol outside the gym and then you have to keep them accountable, have them weigh in. And that's what's good about those uh, online sessions, too. You can, you know, 
basically any questions that they have during the week or whatever they can ask. But I try to say if it's a personal client, I'll have them do, uh, you know, cell and, uh, you know, cell phone text, whatever it takes. But before and afters are strong, man, because when people are at their weakest moments, when you first get them and you take pictures of them, you can always use those pictures as ammunition down the road. You want to look like this again? You know, like you work so hard to get, you know, after it's two so months true. like this. It's so, so true. Yeah. And then when they see themselves actually change their whole, back to what you said earlier with self-esteem and self-confidence, oh, yeah. they're so cool when you see that their whole body language starts to change. Everything changes by taking that first step, uh, you know, just totally. get, getting it done and keeping keeping themselves accountable. But I think what you said is so valuable and important. And I think uh, back to what you also stated, I just think the connection has definitely uh, declined, especially over the last several years in all oh, yeah. aspects. Uh, I don't see that strong interaction with me uh, being a gym owner, being a personal trainer. There is no doubt in my mind you're going to hear from me. We're going to have that conversation. You're going to, you're going to hear from me outside of the times that we meet. Um, and I just see that interaction. That's where a lot of people fail. But I do want to touch on a little bit. What I hear, Frank, from personal trainers is I always talk to them about, you know, hey, you, you know, you start doing this. It's one of the first things I say is you do online training. So mm -hmm. it's a great way to, to start another stream of revenue and could potentially be really awesome. But I think many are still intimidated. They don't follow their own uh, a basic marketing plan. You know, you have so much free marketing out there now with all that's available to to trainers, but they're not as dialed into that part of it, which is so important. But I think, what would your suggestion or advice be someone looking to, okay, I really got to start this online program? Look at somebody who is very successful and mimic what they're doing as far as the, you know, the uh, digital portion of it. So if you're looking at them and saying, okay, this is the platform they're using, uh, they're connected to uh, all the different social media platforms. They're doing PR releases. Write everything down. Look at the top five people, the most successful people. That's what you know. That's what any good business person will do. And mimic. Not. I'm not saying their their style of training or or nutrition. I'm just saying the way that they're they're you know getting people and the way that they're putting together their digital program platforms. I, th I think, way. Frank, you need uh, not that you have enough on your plate already, but I think we need a Frank Seppi train the trainer program. <laughs> you know, it's fun. Uh, <laughs> and I'm serious. Yeah, I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll get on that. <laughs> uh, is that in the works? No, no. I'm just honestly, I'm doing, I have another book coming out, and I'm, I'm going to start my first online fitness challenges. Obviously, I've been doing a lot of uh, uh, live social media platform youtube uh, forget it and it's awesome actually. that's why we just have about a minute left frank but i want yeah. to mention make sure you check out frank .com. check out his instagram frank seppi uh youtube and of course his his platform that he's involved heavily involved with muscle fitness muscle and fitness hers the mr olympia uh, so frank closing words of thoughts before we go and i can't wait to have you on again it's so awesome <laughs> to have you on our show yeah, it went cr it went great i really appreciate you having me on and uh, you know, I'm going to tell everybody this 4th of July, eat in moderation. <laughs> yeah, eat and drink. Eat and drink in moderation. Eat and drink in moderation. <laughs> and, and you can't undo, uh, you know, all the damage you do. This oh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be having our show. Well, you, we'll... We'll be having our show next week, and we'll be uh, following up on that. But make sure you check out Frank's book, uh, The Truth. Where can they get that, Frank? Uh, hayhouse.com, Amazon.com, everywhere. All right, you got it. Frank, brother, thank you so much. I can't wait to have you on again. Thanks. All right, Rob. Thanks a lot. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. This is TG Talk Show Radio. Thank you for tuning in. This is your host, Rob Fletcher. You can follow me at A-N-G-T TV. Follow us on Instagram at TG Wellbeing. Thanks to our sponsors, TG Wellbeing, TG Mesa, TG Chula Vista. Have a great week. Make it amazing. Remember, set a goal. Make a plan. Focus. Keep Driving that machine forward.